Hi and welcome. My name is Jay and a quick tutorial for you for your new US Tech Message Pro texting platform. Now when you sign up for the platform, you're going to get an email with your login credentials. And it's going to send you this link, this URL right here to go to, and you're going to put that in your web browser. And it's going to bring you to this page here where you're going to enter your username and password. Um, I've set up this quick username and password for this demonstration. So it'll be uh, J at our Virginia number and the password I set up for myself. Enter your credentials, hit login, and bam, there you are. Um, as you can see, the number right here is one of our numbers that we have listed for texting. Uh, we've got also other numbers. So up here, you can change the numbers that you want to if you do have multiple numbers in your portal that you have made text capable. Right now, we're just uh, working with this one right here, which is our Virginia number. When you come in here, it's pretty easy to use. On the top, you have your text tab, auto, on and off, and keywords. And this is how you can maneuver through your platform if you want to log out and log in as uh, another user. You can change your password, which is what I recommend doing right away. You just enter the current password that uh, we sent you, put in the new one, and then hit change. Um, you can also set up new users by going to settings. If you are an admin on the account, you go to user management, and you can set up uh, one of these. And I suggest just putting the first name there under username because then uh, your user ID would be J at that number that you just saw, our Virginia number. That's going to be the username J at 1703-866-1222. Fill in this stuff here and you can make them an admin or a uh, standard user. The difference between that is an admin can uh, scroll between multiple numbers and text from multiple numbers whereas a, a standard user can only do one at a time. A, an admin can set up users uh, on the account. A standard does not have access to that so it cannot set up new users on the account. But in the portal they do the same thing. If you are a standard user you won't see this tab right here. But all the other things that you can do in the portal are pretty much the same between standard user and admin. You'll see all your text messages here. Um, scroll down. And they are all the same. All your users would see the same text messages here. And you can click on your thread, whichever thread you started with your user. There's a contacts tab. There's a list tab. Uh, what you could do is start a new list. We have started a US Tech Group Text and that's just our techs, uh, technicians that uh, are in this group. You want to start another one just click the plus and you can start a new contact, a new list, or you can import CSV file from your computer here. If you have a file of contact list or something on file uh, you can import it there. You can also just start texting right away. If you want to send a text to, I'm going to send it to myself. And you can see as you start typing, your contacts come up. Um, compose. Hi there, buddy. And you can do emojis or you can uh, also add a attachment if you want to and just click send and you can see I got that right there it says hi there buddy and I reply hi there back unread messages and it says hi there back but uh, that's how that works it's very standard for new text you can just go ahead put the person's number in here um, compose your message add an attachment add an emoji and just push send. It's as easy as that. There are also other things you can do like keywords. If you're a restaurant and you want to start uh, giving people coupons or reasons to come back into your restaurant, start making keywords and using those sending to your customers and your contacts. 
So under this keyword tab or up here, you can do the same thing. So right now, if someone were to text hours to this number right here, this is what they would get. Our office hours are Monday through Friday, nine to five, but have support 24 seven at support at ustech.com. That's what we put in the portal so that they would get that automatically. So what you would do is just click on the plus sign to start your own keywords. And right here, you could put a single keyword, let's say uh, coupon. And down here, you can add an attachment and you can write, use this coupon for free 12 inch pizza. slow typer dinosaur so you can type this in use this coupon for free 12 inch pizza on your next visit all they have to do is text coupon to this word right here and anybody that does that in your contacts is going to get a free pizza next time they come in and that way you have their number you have uh, it gets them coming into the store it puts them in your contact list and you can do all kinds of stuff like this. You can also use canned comments and canned comments are comments that are pre-typed up that you are sending back to the customer but if hours of operation are in their text message or I need tech support, uh, as soon as you see that you start typing this message is going to come up and you can click on this and send this back so you don't have to type the whole message out you can also get reporting if you click on that right there you can see how many credits you've used so far um, and it gives you a graph of texting type text direction um, inbound and outbound You can go to message logs and these are the logs of everything that you've been seeing coming in and out on the date specific date you can see who's been texting you who you've been texting uh, the content the user and the credits so where you'll be spending a lot of your time is probably in contacts building your contact list and you can click that plus sign right there and see what kind of import you want to do whether it's a csv file and do bulk imports or if you just want to create a new list right there you can just start typing in names and adding the uh, you would just type the name of this list like let's say new contacts and then you would start making your contact filling in the mobile numbers the text capable numbers right in here and that would be your contact list you can click the plus sign and make a new contact you can put their first name their last name and their telephone number and it could be private contact or shared contact now this is only if you have multiple numbers if you only have one number then you're just gonna choose this if you have multiple numbers you can do this and then your contacts will be shown on all numbers such as we have multiple numbers in here so our contacts would go through all of these numbers and then you would click save and that person would be saved in your contacts so there's a lot of things this can do on your computer but there's also the mobile app you're going to want to download the message pro office mobile app on your mobile phone and you're going to use the same username and password as you used for your desktop application as well so it would be mine would be j at this number our main virginia number and then my password and then log in and then i'm logged into the mobile app as well and the screen looks exactly the same it's going to look just like this on your mobile app you'll have the same tabs up top the same 
settings tabs here and you will see the same tabs the same text messages over here as you do on your mobile app everything will be identical these messages uh, your contacts your tabs up top the screen in general will look all the same on your mobile app as it does on your computer so I hope that helps this is just a quick tutorial to help you get started if you have any more questions feel free to text me at this number thank you very much for choosing US Tech I hope this tutorial was helpful um, you can go to ustech.com for other telecom applications and platforms we're here to help thank you